Hello guys, welcome to the first Atlantic update of this year, at least for my channel. Took a long break and now we are back and we're just going to get right into it. We have a lot of threats, if you can read the thing right here. We have a couple threats that could be and need to be watched closely as potential land threats are coming up. Let's get right into this and we'll look at take a look at this. I actually have something marked that the NHC does not mark, and I will get into that later. But we have a marked AOI over Louisiana that is expected to move south into the Gulf of Mexico. Invest 94L, which will become a potential threat for the Leeward Islands and the Lesser Antilles, and later on, potentially a threat for Latin America. As well as the storm right behind it, which could eventually become a threat for the Greater Antilles and parts of the Lesser Antilles later on. Go ahead and take a look first at Invest 94L, which I currently have at odds of 50% chance of developing in the next two days, 80% in the next five, and 90% in the next seven days. I think this has the potential to become a Category 1 to 2 hurricane, and if some things shift in major ways, I think there's a chance that's small that it could get to a major hurricane, but I don't really see that happening, despite what other people may be saying right now. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the model's opinion on this, and they seem to somewhat agree with me, calling for a Cat 1, at least most of them, to a moderate tropical storm, with a lot of the less known models or less consistent models. But you see the icon and the HWFI in there that are more of the trustable models on this. Even though the HWFI does tend to overshoot some of the storms quite often, it's still a good gauge to see where the storm could be if certain conditions were in its favor. The ship model is a complete outlier and will likely not happen as I previously stated. Here we're looking at the sea surface temperatures that Invest 94L will be going over. As you can see, they are all quite warm for the majority of it, upwards of 27 degrees Celsius most of the time, and in many parts it is 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, which it is currently over right now, and might even work into some, and will work into those higher temperatures again as it gets closer to its Latin American landfall which is what is currently anticipated at the moment. Take a look at some current satellite imagery for Invest 94L. As you can see, it's starting to blow up some convection there around the center. Right in here, you can see little spurts of it increasing in convection and just the amount of cloud cover that there is covering the center, which is a good sign for development. You see this with the new NHC update that, that was just put out about 30 minutes ago where they increased to a 60% chance and an 80% chance of development on this system. And if you look right over here, you can see that other system that I was talking about sneaking into frame, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and just take a look at the GFS model run, not necessarily just for this storm, but just in general. And when it gets back to its start, you'll see right in here, over here, you'll see another second storm pop up, but you'll also see how intense that they think this storm right here will get. If you wait till it gets over here, this storm gets all the way down to 784, I believe, and that could be a potentially moderate Category 1 storm. And if you were to notice over here, it did briefly become a weak storm, and then it also regains the low pressure center again up here, so I'm thinking that could turn into a tropical depression or a weak tropical storm later on. Back into this, and we're looking at the AOI that is currently over Louisiana, which I am actually currently feeling some of the rain effects from that. Nothing major, just quite a rainy and thundery day. Current odds of formation, for me anyways, are 10% chance in the next two days, 20% in the next five and seven days. I am not very confident in the system at all to form, if anything, it'll just be some rainy. Sh I think it'll just be some rainy showers for Louisiana and Texas, giving us some much-needed rain that we've needed down here for quite a while and cool some things off. Now I'll go ahead and take a look at the model that I was talking about, 
I mean, the uh, system that I was talking about, which I don't, I'm not particularly confident in it, as it's not, like, a lot of model support, or necessarily strong, but I do think it would be good to note that there is a potential that it is there, as it's following right behind the system that is developing quite well, at least for the moment before it turns northward. Got it at a 10% chance in the next two and five days, and a 20% chance in the next seven, which will likely be when it gets up around here when the GFS shows it reforming. The GFS and the Icon model, at least on their 18Z runs, are showing at least some slight development of the system, or at least a low-pressure system developing off of this. Regardless, it could be a rain threat for the Greater Antilles and the Lesser Antilles, particularly the Virgin Islands. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want more in-depth storm coverage, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. And come back tomorrow for a more in-depth update on Invest 94L and the potential that it has and the new information that we will gain between now and then. Thank you for watching and signing off.